What is up, guys? Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you guys with Dallas Stewart. Say what's up, Dallas. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, hell of a wild card weekend last weekend on the Super Wild Card Weekend. Dallas and I ended up going 5 and 1 on Super Wild Card Weekend. Not a bad week on wild card picks. And now we're on to the NFL divisional round picks for the divisional round of the playoffs. This is going to be a really good week, and this should be really fun, especially with the two games on Saturday and the two games on Sunday. But, man, some crazy games last week, man. Yeah. Yeah, a few, couple of them were blowouts, and one of them came down to the wire. Whew, all right. First off, we got the... Cincinnati Bengals going to Tennessee to take on the Titans. The Bengals barely squeaked it out against the Las Vegas Raiders at home, winning their first playoff game in 31 years. Definitely well-deserved for that fan base to finally you know, end that long playoff drought. And that was a hell of a game, too. Carr had a chance to go down and tie it and then threw that interception, and that was pretty much the end of the Vegas Raiders' crazy-ass season that they had with all the stuff that happened the off-the-field dramas and then the John Gruden thing and the Henry Ruggs thing and then that interim head coach just leading the Raiders to the playoffs. A hell of a run, but came up short big time against the Cincinnati Bengals. Titans number one seed, Derrick Henry is back. And this time around, I think the fairy tale run comes to an end for the Cincinnati Bengals. So I am taking the Tennessee Titans. And I think Derrick Henry is going to have a field day at Tannehill. And those Titans are rested and they are going to be ready to play. I like the uh, Titans to get by the Bengals. Yeah, but hopefully it's a good game. But I think I think Derrick Henry is going to be running wild on them. We know the Bengals beat the Titans last year in Joe Burrow's rookie year, which that was a pretty crazy game last year around a rematch of that. This game's in Nashville. Those Titans fans are going to be ready. This game, I'm anxious to see how Derrick Henry is going to be coming back. Yeah, so am I. And then and see... It seems like, and they got AJ Brown back. It seems like they got their, you know, all the guys healthy on offense. Yeah, they, they got their core. They want to make it deep. They want to make it to the Super Rip, come out of the AFC for, uh, for the Super Bowl. You know, to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Whew, all right, there you have it for that. Up next, we got the San Francisco 49ers going to the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field. 49ers just took it to Dallas, and Dallas almost made that comeback. But what the hell were the Cowboys thinking running it with 14 seconds left with no timeouts? I think they should have taken some shots at the end zone with Dak. That was a pretty wild finish to that game. Yeah, that was, that was an exciting like final five minutes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then now Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be playing in the cold, now the new coldest game that he's ever played in because I think it's expected to be two degrees in Lambeau Field. I think it's going to be going to be fro field's going to be frozen. I don't know if there's going to be snow, but it is going to be freezing cold in Lambeau Field. And that obviously is the big advantage to the Packers. The Packers are well rested. Aaron Rodgers is ready to go. Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones, Marquez Valdez, Scantling, Alan Lounge, Lazard, and Man, this is going to be a really... I think this is going to be a good game. But you know something? Can't go against Green Bay at home. And San Francisco's run comes to an end in Lambeau Field. I'm taking the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, I'm going to take the Packers as well. Uh, they're the biggest favorites of Divisional Weekend. Uh, I, I just can't see San Francisco pulling off a second straight uh, upset on the road in the cold weather. Uh, it would take a, a Herculean effort for them to win this game. I, I got to go with Green Bay. I do think it'll be close. But yeah, it's a hell of a run they're on. Green Bay will get it done in the end. Yeah, they I, they got the defense, too. They got the defense to contain Kittle, and we all know what happened last time around. That that game, the last time, was in California when the 49ers left 37 seconds and Rodgers hit Devontae Adams twice to set up Mason Crosby for the win. Different story this time because this time – they ain't in California this time. They're in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And we know, and I know for a fact how cold it gets there in the winter. Advantage Green Bay. Green Bay goes to the yeah, NFC yeah, Championship. Rogers, I believe, will get his first playoff win against the 49ers in his career. And exercise those demons. Yeah. 
Yep, this is where the Packers exercise the demons and knock the Niners out. And we know Debo's going to bring it for them. We know Kittle's going to bring it for them. But I think that Packer defense, they're going to be ready this time. They're ready. And Green Bay's offense should be coming out firing, especially Rodgers to Devontae Adams will be in full force that game. All right. Up next, we got the Sunday games. We got the Los Angeles Rams going to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers just annihilated, straight up pistol whipped the Philadelphia Eagles. Granted, they allowed 15 garbage time points, but we're shutting them out most of that game. Tom Brady, you know, taking on the Rams for the second time. The Rams just annihilated the Arizona Cardinals. Matthew Stafford finally gets his first playoff win, and the Pottsville curse was in full effect, killing the Arizona Cardinals as usual, as it's been doing ever since that curse was dropped on them, ever since they never gave back that 1925 title to the rightful owners of the Pottsville Maroons in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. So Pottsville curse once again killed the Cardinals and favored the Rams in that game, and Stafford, that defense, that, what the hell was Kyler Murray throwing that ball, he would have been better off taking a safety, instead he throws a freaking pick six, <laughs> midget Murray was getting dominated by that defense back on, back on, back on Monday, that was a hell, that was just a hell of an outing by the Rams offense and defense, but man, this time around, you know, Tom Brady, Tom Brady's a completely different animal in the playoffs, we all know that for a fact, and I never sleep on Tom Brady. I know I slept on him a couple times. But, you know, I, I, I kind of have that feeling Brady's going to somehow find a way to get back. Now, this game could go any, any way. And this is going to be one of the good games in the NFC division for, for the playoffs and the divisional round. This is going to be one of the good games, I have a feeling. But this time, you know, I just can't sleep on Tom. But I would not be surprised if the Rams somehow find a way to win again and force a Rams versus Packers NFC championship. But... I think most likely we're going to somehow get a rematch of last year's NFC Championship in Lambeau Field again. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Yeah, give me uh, the box to get it done at home. If this game was in LA, if the, if the Rams hadn't blown that 17-0 lead against the 49ers in Week 18, I'd be picking the Rams. But since the game's in Tampa, i got to go with Tampa to get back to the NFC Championship and have a rematch with the Packers. Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers once again. Yeah. That would be a that would be a great one, especially in Lambeau Field again. Who? And last but yeah, not would be. And last but not least, we got the Buffalo Bills going to Arrowhead again to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. We all know what happened the last time around during the regular season when Mahomes and the Chiefs were stumbling, the Buffalo Bills rolled into Arrowhead and just straight up pistol whip Kansas City and the Chiefs ever since then have started had kind of got their they got their groove back and they're they're in at the number two seed for good reason too and they took care of their business they started out really sloppy in the first half against the Pittsburgh Steelers giving up that scoop and score they just had a sloppy first half and then then they got back on their stride and the route was on in Arrowhead the route was on and the Chiefs annihilated the Pittsburgh Steelers, but meanwhile, you and me were watching this game last Saturday. The Buffalo Bills just straight up annihilated the New England Patriots at home. Six for six in the red zone. It felt like the the Bills played almost, or pretty much, I think the Buffalo Bills played a perfect offensive game. They played a perfect game on offense and just straight up annihilated Bill Belichick Mac Jones, and the New England Patriots. The Patriots, it's almost like they never even got off the bus or got off the plane. They just never showed up, and they just got annihilated. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that was just, that was fun watching watching that game and just seeing the way Buffalo, Buffalo is just prime. They are very hungry for this for this run. And Buffalo, you know, for some strange reason, I, I just have that gut feeling that we could possibly see them in the Super Bowl or maybe the AFC Championship, maybe a rematch of the Music City Miracle in Tennessee, but in the AFC Championship. And I know what I know where you're going, but we got ourselves a split. Dallas and I were talking about this earlier. I'm taking the Buffalo Bills to get into the AFC Championship to take on the Titans. And Dallas? Yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs to uh, end the Bills season again like they did last year 
in the AFC yeah, Championship. Back to their fourth straight AFC Championship. This game is going to be a pretty good game. I I just hope that this game is good and lives up to the hype, though. What do yeah, you? Yeah, I think the, yeah, this is probably going to be the game of the weekend, or at least it should be. Yeah, game of the weekend, or hopefully yeah. all these games are good. But yeah, yeah, I'm excited for this, man. Let me know your picks down in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. And these are our picks. We got Titans over Bengals. We got Packers over 49ers. Buccaneers over Rams. I picked the Bills and Dallas picked the Chiefs. And these are our picks for the NFL Divisional Playoff Rounds. For the play for the Divisional Round of the NFL Playoffs. Whew. Let's see what happens. This, should this is going to be awesome. And we will catch you all later. If you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. And as always, go Seahawks.